Merry Christmas from Cornish Walking Trails. We've walked from Mousel today to Lamorna. Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Mousel, we're going to do our walk and then visit the harbour with the Christmas lights. Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall, one of my favourite walking books, Mousel and La Morna. Park up at Mousel, have a wander around the village and then head out towards La Morna across the coast. About four miles long, takes about three hours. There's some of the walk instructions. Quick look at the map. As you can see, we'll follow the coastline all the way down, come back across some fields. I think we go through about four farms. Our first walk instruction is head for Mousel, passing the old Coast Guard Hotel. A short distance after the hotel, turn left away from the road, following a metalled lane next to a high wall. Yeah. After a few twists and turns, you emerge above Mousel Harbour near the toilet block. First series of the Bridge Bake Off, they actually put their marquee up on the car park and they had to make a Cornish pasty, of course. This will look really pretty later when all the lights are on. Merry Christmas. Let there be lights. Lights first illuminated in 1963, set up September and dismantled in February. There's a cat, look. Might as well cat. Have you seen the lights, look? They're two buckets tied together. Round the harbour, passing the wall memorial and the ship in. Just like St Ives, the little streets are so tiny. During the time of the Spanish Armada, Mousel was desecrated. There was only one house left standing, Squire Keegwin's house. It is now the oldest house in the village. The plaque says, here lived Dolly Pentreef, one of the last speakers of the Cornish language as her native tongue died December 1777. A stunning Christmas tree in there. It's very pretty. Follow the road as it bears right and then left to pass the imposing Wesleyan Chapel. Continuing up the hill, noting as you climb the views behind you across Mounts Bay to St Michael's Mount. Past the Wild Bird Sanctuary and the Kandu Hotel. That's it, come on, looking pretty. All along this walk is some beautiful little quaint cottages. Where the road bears right, head left towards the coastal path. Continue now on the coastal path. On clear days, the views left are to the Lizard Point with its lighthouse. It's looking back towards the Lizard. There's the nature plantation, we're going to go in there soon. It's really muddy. At a waymark post, the coastal path descends left down some steps before passing over a brook by granite boulders. Climb some granite rock steps before passing through Kemmel Crease Nature Reserve. From here onwards, the path is much easier going. Well, that's good news. The nature reserve has got fir trees planted all the way down to the sea. What do you reckon then? Walking boots only. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Walking boots only. So after hugging the coast all the way along, we've gone through the nature reserve and it's now opened up into this huge expanse of bracken. Follow the coastline before rounding the rocky headland of Carn Dew, which provides views into La Morna Cove and across the lighthouse of Tatadu. And there's La Morna. Proceed to La Morna Cove through a dramatic granite landscape. So the little village of uh, La Morna, well, it's a little cove, developed and grew over the years because of the quarry that was here and they built the harbour. The stone was shipped by sea all the way up to London to build the embankment. Here, your Christmas list. Yeah. You said, you said you wanted a great big rock to go on your finger. Yeah. Yeah? Well, which one do you want? <laughs> None of them! Oh. Here is the pier. Well, what was left of it? I think the seas had a good old go at that. Got no ticket on that boat. I think mean, it's been here more than two hours. Toilets, a cafe, and a shop can be found here. But in December, they're shut. Cafe shut, Millie. You're not a happy girl, are you? No. After exploring the harbour, head back across the concrete bridge to the start of the coastal path, upon which you arrived. Fork left up a grassy path indicated by a public footpath sign. The path climbs through woodland and wildflowers to lead past the old granite quarries. 
at a farmhouse bare right on a footpath indicated by a yellow waymark arrow. How are you doing, really? I'm tired. You're tired, are you, baby? I had the promise of hot chocolate. Where is that hot chocolate? It's in a closed cafe. They were in there too, weren't they? Yes. Sat Not watching fair, some is it? Telly. Which Disgusting. I was watching some telly. <laughs> <laughs> As the track bears left away from the farm next to a metal gate, cross a stone stile adjacent to a waymark post and proceed over the field keeping the left hand boundary. Cross a stone stile before heading across the field to a gate. Having fun ladies? Cross an adjacent stone stile and head for the corner of the wall in front of the farm buildings ahead. Cross the stile with a footpath sign. We'll just keep you posted. <laughs> yep, this is a definitely a very tractor shaped Tractor friendly lane. Turn left along a farm track, passing between farm buildings to assume a metal lane before bearing right across a stone stile adjacent to a metal gate. Pass the left of the farmhouse opposite a barn before heading across the farmyard centre. Oh, aren't they lovely? Hello. 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 Aren't you gorgeous? you like to try to describe the smell? Oh, country. It's country, isn't it? I'm looking at that gorgeous, gorgeous orange light just behind the farmhouse. It's starting to get dark. Fishing boat's coming back in. Got all his lights on. Coming back towards Mausel. And another farm. Turn right on the road and then immediately left to enter Regina's farm. Keep on the farm track to the right of the farmhouse and attractive thatched cottages found on the left. Across a stone wall style close to a metal gate. Keep to the boundary of the field before crossing left over a star shortly after a metal gate. The instructions tell us just to follow the fields back towards Mausel and it is really self-explanatory. It's just styles and fields but you do have the most fantastic view. So it's half past four and the lights aren't on yet that says Merry Christmas 2016 and there's Mausel. We were lucky enough one year to take the helicopter from Penzance and fly over Mausel Christmas lights and it was so, so brilliant. I don't know if the camera's showing just how dark it is. The little path down into Mausel is right beside this tumbling little brook. It's gorgeous. Just around the corner. And there we have Mausel lights. Just a What's your favourite? Uh, either the whale or the boat. Why do you like the whale? I, just, I don't know, I just like it. I like the whale because it actually moves and it's got some animation to it. Why do you like the boats? Well, they're very uh, pretty. Do you remember that one year we brought James down here? He wasn't very old. He was about two. Yeah. Yeah, and he had one of those light up stick things, didn't he? Yeah. And he spent all evening bashing me over the head with it. completed our walk from Mausel to Le Mans and back across the fields. I've, I've enjoyed it, it's been hard going though, I found the mud and the, the actual coastal path itself really hard work with the boulders and the bits of granite that you've got to climb over. What do you think? Instructions still work don't they? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's, it's really muddy but obviously it's the middle of December or just before December, <laughs> yeah. just before Christmas. We'll try it again in summer. Yeah, very very pretty scenery again looking out across Mounts Bay. Um, I'd give it 6 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I think it's a good 6 out of 10 for a December walk. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm hungry!